It's awesome that your head fits in there. I'm a boat size girl. A what size girl? A boat size girl. You're a boat size girl. I'm a boat size. Girl. <laughs> What's that? Why I'm you... a boat size girl. <laughs> Those are the measurements. Yeah, so I have the measurements right. of the stuff, kind of, of the stuff <laughs> that I want to cut, and uh, Anna's gonna clear out the rest of the the nasty wood, and I'm I'm gonna come back with some pieces of plywood that hopefully will fit in this gap. I went back like six times to cut more pieces and try to make them fit. It had to be a bit more custom made so that the holes where the screws are gonna go don't go through wood we want them to go through epoxy so we we made little holes in the pieces put them back like this one little corner one this is probably one of the most annoying parts of the process is clearing out the old core and fitting these pieces these new pieces that are gonna be the new core what so I'll cut, I'll cut like half an inch from that. Right and right another right. thing, this core you did here, do it here too. Oh, okay, cool. Because how you took the wood, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like this too. Totes my goats. Totes my goats. I really look forward not to ever having to do this again. So once we had all these weird pieces to fit in and all these gaps, we were finally introduced to the best friend and the worst enemy of fiberglass boulders, epoxy resin. Okay, if you're gonna work with epoxy, make sure to protect the area and yourself. It's a highly toxic chemical resin, usually used for fiberglassing purposes. To make epoxy for simple repairs, you need the following things. Empty cup and clean, perfectly clean. A paletita to remove it and mix it. non corrosive epoxy. Curing agent. Laminate epoxy. Base resin. And as a thickening agent, you can use fumed silica, also known as silica balloon puppy. After you mix the epoxy and the curing agent, depending on what type of epoxy you have, in less than 10 minutes this thing is going to start curing, so you got to act fast. Mix really well. It smells like cat pee. Yeah, if you have a cat and you take a good whiff right after it goes to the bathroom at the <laughs> litter box, that's what it smells like. The mixture will have a honey-like consistency, but if you need a thicker solution, add the silica powder to it and watch as it gets denser. Depending on how much you add, you can make it into Play-Doh. We use the liquid epoxy to paint the insides of the portholes and the plywood. Then we put globs of thickened epoxy on the plywood pieces and stuck them in there. In parts where we knew the frame was cut wrong, we compensated with globs of thickened epoxy so that the portholes would fit better afterwards. Honestly, in the first time we attempted it, it was a shit show. What do you think? It's... I, uh, <laughs> what? I wanna lick it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know, it's just like... melted ice cream. Or something like that. It's so cool. It's hard, it's right? Like, it's like magic, it's so hard, it's like... We did this. We did it. Very good. Good job. I'm putting together my old tool to see if we can use it for something in those portals. My dad gave me this when I was like 14 years old. I always use it to, um, for jewelry work and stuff like that. Huh? It's about to do much dirtier work. After making this huge epoxy mess sculpture thingy and covering the necessary spaces, it was time then to shape it so that the portholes would fit back into the frame. So a lot of 
<laughs> exactly. So a lot of sanding and grinding was required of us. A lot. A lot. So <laughs> a lot. I've been grinding on this for a while. Apparently I did a lot more boxy than I needed to. Um, so this grinder has been a lot of help. And this thing still doesn't fit. So I gotta grind more. Please make sure, especially if you have a lot of epoxy to sand or to grind out, to wear protective gear, real breathing masks, not the $3 ones. Gloves. Gloves. And that goes for you too. And you too. <laughs> You're the one that like just, you know. Can I see your hands, mister? After sanding everything, we positioned the frames on the walls and with my uncle's help, drilled the holes where the screens were going to go. Now I'm gonna put in some screws. Is that... is that hair gel? Yeah. Pro tip. Once you trace a line around the frame, put in a couple screws so you don't mess it up when drilling the following ones. I kind of failed to do that in the first one and the screws got a bit misguided. Alright. Gonna make a mark here with a permanent marker so I know how deep to drill. I have to consider some space for the caulking and some space for the the port itself. So... <gasps> Iguana! I see you. Get out of here! Yeah. Leave. You're not welcome here. After the fence were shaped and all the holes drilled, it was time to clean everything to prepare for the installation. The portholes needed to be deeply cleaned with the wire brusher, scrapers, acetone, and the good old soap and water. I sanded all the surface that were going to come in contact with the sealant. Oh, and the pro tip, never clean these with acetone. Can you guess which one of them was cleaned with acetone? Yeah. Bexon, the manufacturer of these portables, recommended only that we use 100% silicone. So we didn't want to go against that and have no one to blame in the future if something went wrong. So we bought a bunch of silicone. Um, and we did four portables with white silicone and one with transparent. That's true, we did do that. All right, now. We're gonna fill this thing with silicone. But I really mean we're gonna fill this thing with silicone. It's gonna be, it should be looking like a, uh, like a wedding cake. Get the gun. We already punctured the tip. Let me have some of this. All right, let's do this. it's not upside down because that happens sometimes
should come out from every side. See, like, as I'm tightening them. Let's see, come on, come here, come on. My uncle, who we call Chiu, because that's the word in Portuguese, he taught us that it's better to just use as much silicone as you can, just use a lot, even though it might seem exaggerated, than regret in the future that you didn't use enough because your thing is leaking. So uh, we used obscene amounts of silicone, about one and a half to two tubes of silicone per porthole. Which I really thought it was like, a lot, but in Venezuela we say más vale que eso sobre que eso farte. Kind of like a triangle here, like a bead bridging this to that. External bead like that? Yeah, it's thicker than that. Get down like this, get your, your elbow skill and use the gun from down and up. It's down and up, you know? You have to get the uh, tip away from it, otherwise when you push it, you're taking everything away. You have to keep a distance. Yeah, 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 that is it. See? It started like a little... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, you just want to do a straight, straight fat big, glob. Fat, fat. Yeah, see, okay. it's easier to, to work with that. Than All right, let's do that. You have to like steady your hand. The first uh, attempt is always the one that teaches you those important life lessons that are going to stay with you forever, right? So, for example, we learn to always double check if the porthole is upside down or if it's just in the right orientation right before you glue it in. <laughs> See, like, we needed some. Where is the gun? Where is the gun? We installed it again with the same silicone we had. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's hope it, uh, it, it works out and doesn't leak. If it leaks, the oven will be the first one to know. So now our boat finally has little windows. Hopefully they won't leak anytime soon. Even though Anna wants them bigger. Yeah, we'll eventually, when we have a lot of <laughs> patrons and, and money, then we'll buy beautiful, <laughs> big bronze portals and we'll have a lot of light and wind coming into the boat. It'll be beautiful. Next episode, we'll talk about the deck. Deck. A lot of epoxy. 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 Kating, kating, kating. Port lights. Iguana. Port lights. Iguana. Can you stop crapping on the dock? Thank you.